Welcome to the Figure Zone. Today I've got another video for you with some third-party company previews and also some official TB League figure previews. Check them out. Please hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel big time. If you're watching on a computer, hit that little subscribe watermark on the bottom right corner. If you're on a phone, then hit that button when you're finished watching the video. Or you can pause the video now, hit that subscribe button. The choice is yours. But you know you want to subscribe if you want to see more awesome, cool, fracking videos like these. Alrighty, thank you. First off, we have the Thunder Toys 1-6 scale Variant Spider. This is a quarter 4 2021 release. It's around like 165 bucks. This is possibly the Tobey Maguire suit. That's what it's looking like to me. Now this comes with the head, the body, costume, a pair of twipping hands, a pair of crawling hands, a fist, and like a line holding hands. And he also comes with a couple little web pieces for him to hold on to. Now he's got an interesting feature with this one. It says glow in the dark feature on the costume and the head. I'm not quite sure if that means it glows in the dark, if uh, it's just dark, or do you have to shine like a UV light on it? Not totally sure, but uh, that's still pretty cool. It's an awesome idea. Here's that Spider-Man 1 Tobey Maguire suit. Not quite the same, it doesn't have the raised effect going on, but it looks very similar with the spider there. And of course you want to get this figure so you can put all your Spider-Mans pointing at each other. Who doesn't want to have a Spider-Man display with Spider-Man pointing at each other? Now sold separately, Thunder Toys also has a 1-6 scale Spider Variant Diorama Base, also quarter 4, 2021. It's around like 185 bucks. That's a cool looking diorama here. It's got like a flight pole, it looks like, and a grabber. So you can stand your Spidey on there, have them flying in the air. It's a 10.6 by 11 by 8.2 inches. And centimeters, that's 27 by 28 by 21. So pretty big, pretty cool. I'm digging it. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder toys. Ho! Up next from Super Duck is the 1-6 scale Jane costume set. This is possibly a quarter for 2021 release. Sometimes Super Duck a little late, sometimes they're a little bit early, but mostly late. It's around 90 bucks. Now this is Jane Foster from Thor the Dark World, Natalie Portman's character. It comes with a head sculpt a dress, it's got some armor for the shoulder, body, and the arms. It's got a brooch and some shoes. Doesn't come with the body, but sometimes you just fall back on the uh, TB League S12D seamless body, which works with a lot of these figures. So, I'm not totally sure yet. The manufacturer hasn't stated which one's the best one, but that's always a good body to get. And if it doesn't work, it always fits tons of other figures, but I'm going to say go with that one. You know, I still don't understand how in the comics, when she picks up Thor's hammer, becomes like Thor. She takes his name, and she also speaks like Thor. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know any more about that, thanks. Now from TB League. Again, TB League was formerly Fison TB League, now they're just TB League. There's a 1-6 scale Elf Archer. Now they make this version in white and black in the title. So you get some different color clothing options on this one. And uh, they are a quarter three of 2021 release. They're around like the 180 to $200 price range. Now, both of them are pretty much the exact same costume, but just different color fabrics and different paint apps on like the armor pieces. And the same thing with the weapons too. The only difference, I think the head sculpts are completely different head sculpts. You can tell at the end of this 
segment here. I'll show you the two head sculpts next to each other. So pretty much both come with the exact same stuff, different colors, different fabrics. So we got a head sculpt, seamless body of the metal skeleton, a pylum, three pairs of hands, it's got shoes, a broadsword, got armor pieces for the shoulders, forearms, elbows, and legs. You got a necklace, a dress, underpants, a hooded head scarf, a bow and arrow, and you got a quiver. I don't know if this comes with the base. It doesn't say base on it at all, but she's standing on like a base that looks familiar from one of the other TB Leagues. Maybe they're going to include it. Eh, maybe not. Who knows? So it's TB League. Sometimes they throw some cool stuff in there. Sometimes they don't. It looks like it's got some kind of stand on the bottom of it, so maybe that'll come with it. TB League makes some amazing figures. Their head sculpts are just beautifully done. Now the bodies, of course, are a medical grade silicone that represent the female body down to a T. A T. Next up from TB League, we have the 1-6 scale Pharaoh Tutankhamun. Now this is also a two versions of it. You've got a white and a black version. So it's just whiter clothes and the other one's got darker clothes. Same exact costume, same exact accessories, except just different paint colors and different material color. Now this is a quarter three of 2021 release and it's around the 180 to $200. Now it says head sculpt with rooted hair. I assume there's a head sculpt underneath there. They didn't show any pictures, but maybe they will when it gets closer to being released. Uh, it's got a throne, three pairs of hands, two necklaces or necklace, I don't know what you call necklaces. Armor for the shoulders, upper body, arms, legs, belt. You got two arm rings, some feet, a first style scarf, some underwear, skirt, war robe, cloak, scepter, staff, Hegaflail. And I'm not sure if the base is included with this one or is it just the throne? So, pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. I'm enjoying making these videos because not many people know these figures are out there, know they exist. I'm trying to give you as much information I can about these characters and figures so if you uh, enjoy the videos please hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button if you're enjoying this particular video if you want to see more of these cool videos in this cool video series I'm doing here hit that bell notification you'll be alerted when my next video goes live it'll end up on your feed until the next video